At the end of every year, everyone at my job is rated on their yearly performance. And while I was reviewing the standards that managers are measured by, it made me wonder how the how Christians would rate the management performance of the God they believe in. And this actually goes for all theists who believe in the type of higher power that cares for creation. One of the ways managers earn high marks in my company is by clearly defining objectives for their team. So if we're going to picture the theistic God as a manager and all of humanity as his team, how would God's performance be rated in the area of clearly defining objectives for us? One immediate flaw I see with the managerial style of this alleged God is that there is no one centrally located source for objectives. Some theists would say there is a central location, and it's their holy text. But of course, there's widespread disagreement on which text that is. We have some two billion Christians who say it's the Bible, but a close runner-up are the one and a half billion Muslims who say, no, God's holy text is the Quran. And there are close to a billion Hindus who disagree with both the Christians and the Muslims. And there are hundreds of millions of Buddhists and believers in traditional religions, uh, tens of millions of Sikhs and Jews, and so on. And then, of course, there are all the disagreements within each religion itself. For example, Jehovah's Witness and uh, Mormons and Calvinists and Catholics, well, they all call themselves Christian, but they disagree greatly among themselves. Uh, when it comes to beliefs in things like what heaven is and how you get or don't get there and what free will is and so on. Now, each of these groups could claim, and most have claimed, that there really is only one source for directions from God and only one correct interpretation. And, of course, it's their book, their interpretation. But if we're looking at all this from the high-level position of how a team should be managed when there's lots of disagreement over what the rules are, I feel it's fair to say that any competent human manager would step in and take control, maybe set up um, a read-only quality documents page on an internet site with the authoritative central document posted there and maybe some uh, interpretive job aids um, if necessary. And maybe not only supply the website link to all team members, but also track everyone in a way that makes sure they've all accessed it and passed some sort of test to make sure they understand the contents, uh, contents correctly. An incompetent manager, on the other hand, would just let the chaos continue. Let different regions follow conflicting guidelines, allow conflicting interpretations within each region to run rampant. And chaotic objectives is, in fact, one of the ways that managers uh, in my company will get a low rating. So given all the chaos between rival faiths and chaotic rival interpretations within each faith, I can't imagine God scoring very highly in this area of managerial competency. All right, another area that managers are judged by is how much direct feedback they give to their reports. So when team members are consistently given feedback and they know whether they're on the right path or not, managers are given high marks. When team members rarely or never get feedback and really don't know if they're meeting expectations, then managers score low. And this is a complaint I will hear from sincere, true-believing uh, true theists. I mean, they don't necessarily talk about this um, to non-believers, but when talking and writing among themselves, it's common to hear frustration over why God is so distant. Why doesn't he engage in anything like direct communication? Uh, it reminds me of the story of an elderly rabbi who lived in Jerusalem and went to the Wailing Wall every day, rain or shine, for decades, where he spent at least an hour a day in prayer. And a reporter asked the rabbi what he prayed for, and he said, I pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And knowing the unpeaceful and often violent history of Jerusalem, the reporter then asked, Rabbi, what's it like praying for peace day after day, year after year? And the rabbi answered, well, it's, it's like talking to a wall. Uh, okay, last area is how well managers reward excellent performance. Uh, my company's ratings guidelines say that a high-performance culture is one in which managers differentiate employees based upon performance, and that correlation between performance and rewards is clear and recognized. And conversely, a shoddy performance culture is one in which there is little or no correlation between performance and rewards. Now, when it comes to our alleged God's managerial style in this area, we, of course, um, we could cherry-pick and find many examples of people being rewarded for having the so-called right faith and for living the right way as prescribed by that right faith, and for uh, people being punished for the opposite. But I think even most theists 
would agree that if we do our best not to cherry pick and look at the situation as broadly and fairly as possible, we'll see there's very little consistency. People who have very good lives can come from a variety of different religious backgrounds or have no religion at all and have varying degrees of compassion or, for lack of a better word, morality. Um, and people who have very miserable lives can came from, come from that same different variety of backgrounds, of different religious backgrounds or no religion at all, and again, varying degrees of morality. So if judged from the same yardstick that corporate managers are judged, I would think that most human resource departments would review God's chart and say, well, God is failing to show a, co a clear correlation between performance and rewards, fails at giving clear and consistent feedback to team members, fail to establish uh, a clear-cut, undisputable, centralized source for objectives. Um, so that score tells us no raise, no bonus, probably no job. Now, my point of all this is not that God is a poor manager, because that would mean I believe there is a God, and I don't have that belief. My point, rather, is... Uh, is that if the world really were under the care of an almighty manager, it's fair to argue that such an almighty manager would be closer to what we say is a good human manager rather than a shoddy human manager. Theists like to praise the God they believe in as caring and attentive and even loving, but that's only by shoehorning reality into something that it just isn't. Okay, uh, thanks for watching.